Welcome to the Amadeo Software Tips and Techniques podcast series. My name is Andrew Beggs and I work with Amadeo Software Limited, experts in SaaS and providers of business intelligence solutions, technical support, instructor-led and online training. Please feel free to visit our website to find out more information on this podcast series and other services that we can provide. In the following presentation, we're going to find out how to use conditional processing when deriving computed columns in SAS Enterprise Guide. We'll start with an introduction, then look at the syntax of the case expression and show how it can be used to derive a conditional column either by defining it as an advanced expression or as a recoded column when using the new computed column wizard in Enterprise Guide. The Query Builder task within Enterprise Guide allows new computed columns to be defined using the new computed column wizard. This includes creating conditional computed columns. The technique involves using case expressions to define what value the new column takes based on one or more conditions. Case expressions can be defined either as an advanced expression or as a recoded column. The case expression is valid as part of an SQL or Structured Query Language step within a SAS program and is used to return a value based on a condition being satisfied. There are two general forms of case expression as shown in the following examples. In the first example, a case operand is specified which refers to the column called year. Each when condition that follows is a shortened expression that compares a value with that of the year column until a match is found at which point the corresponding then clause is executed, applying the appropriate percentage increase to the sales figures. If no match is found, then the else clause is executed. With the second example, the case operand is omitted and each when condition is a complete expression that tests the value of a different column, which offers a greater degree of flexibility and can prove very useful. We'll now look at some examples of using case expressions to define new columns within Enterprise Guide tasks. In the first example, we're going to use the Query Builder task to create a new version of a demographics table that includes a new computed column called Bonus, which calculates a bonus payment based on job grade. Here's a look at the data and the key columns that we'll refer to. To define a Query Builder task, we select it from the Tasks data list. We'll select the staff no, salary and grade columns. To define the new computer column, click on the add new computer column button which invokes the new computer column wizard. In this example we'll define the new column as an advanced expression. The case expression can either be typed in from scratch or it can be selected from the list of available functions. We'll now specify the various components of the expression. The upcase function will be used to ensure that all values of grade are covered. The last step is to provide an identifier and name for the new column. The column identifier is effectively an alias for the column, whilst the column name is the actual name that will be used in the table. We'll now run the task and view the output table, which now includes the new bonus column. In the second example, we're going to use the Query Builder task to add a second computed column called New Underscore Salary, which calculates a new wage based on department. To define the new computed column, click on the Add New Computed Column button. In this example, 
will define the new column as a recoded column. The wage increase is dependent on the value of the department column, so in step 2 of the wizard we select this variable. In step 3 the type needs to be specified for the new column. We then need to specify replacement values for each value of department. To do this click on the add button. It's now a case of selecting each value of department from a drop down list and specifying the replacement value. For departments D, E and F, the same percentage increase is to be applied, so an other values or else clause can be used. In this case we must uncheck the enclose value in quotes option in order to avoid a syntax error. In step 4, the complete case expression is shown. We just need to provide an appropriate column identifier and name. We'll now run the task and view the output table, which now includes the new salary column derived according to department. In summary, the case expression is a very effective way of creating conditional columns. Multiple expressions can be evaluated in order to derive the value of the new column. The new computer column wizard within Enterprise Guide allows case expressions to be set up as either an advanced expression or as a recoded column. Well that concludes the presentation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Amadeus Software podcast. We hope that you found it useful. Please make sure that you check out the rest of this podcast series via our website, through iTunes or on YouTube. We also welcome comments or suggestions for future tips. Please contact us either via email at info at amadeus.co.uk or through our website at www.amadeus.co.uk.